Please welcome Brian to the show. He says he's not sure why he's here. Brian, what is going on? Well, Jerry, first I want to say uh, I'm a huge fan. Well, thank and, you. Uh, thank you. And when I was in, uh, when I was in Iraq, uh, me and a lot of the soldiers. Oh, uh, you were in the, uh, the, the army, army, is it? Mm -hmm. Army. Well, thank you. Yeah. There you go. Yep. But yeah, a lot, of, a lot of times when we didn't have uh, anything to do or watch whatever, we, we've most definitely discussed your show, so, well, Jerry Springer's show. So that must be very comforting to the nation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep, keeps us pumped up. Maybe this war could have been over a little bit quicker if you had <laughs> stopped watching the show. But no, go ahead. Uh, thank you. Okay. Yeah, my wife, uh, uh, she's a stay-at-home mom, and I, uh, I'm an auto mechanic. Uh, I work really hard just all the time, work real hard to support my wife and the kids. And, yep. Um, you know, here lately, uh, it just feels like me and my wife have been disconnected, you Ooh. know, and uh, anytime I bring it up to her, uh, you know, anytime she feels upset, you know, I'll ask her about it and stuff, but it just seems like it upsets her even more. You know, and I just really like to know, you know, what did I do, you know, what, what can I do to fix it, you know? It's, yeah, because you are a mechanic, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh. <laughs> Okay, well, why don't we, uh, well, I, I don't know, let's bring her out and, and maybe she can say, here is your lovely wife, Brandy. Well, you don't look happy. I came here today to tell you that I haven't been happy for some time. I started talking to my ex, calling him, and everything. What, which ex is this? Bruce. <laughs> when was this? Not, not that long ago. Um, what'd you do? On this? Well, we uh, met up at Walmart. <laughs> when your kid, the kids were at your mom's house. And uh, he asked me to go out and have a drink. So we went out and had a drink. And I had sex with him. Oh. And just, just sex? No. <laughs> I just had sex with him. But I, I think he still has feelings for me. I mean, did, did you even think about the, about the kids whenever you did this? It, it was oh, spur of the moment, baby. I thought you you wanted them to have the father in their life and everything. And that's, I mean, what? Are, why why would you even want to go out and have you know do something like this? That's just. I'm lonely. I needed attention. I'm at home all the time with the kids alone. Well, you know, I mean, I would I would be there more often to give you attention if. Uh, if I didn't have to work all the time, you know, I, I give you everything I possibly can. I, I bought you a house, I bought you a car, gave you three beautiful children, and I wouldn't have to work so much if if you wouldn't spend so much money. Because <laughs> uh, you know, I, I work my fingers to the bones, you know, uh, to support your your Craigslist habit, you know, and I would I would rather spend that money on you, you know. I I wish I could stop working so much so I could take you out on dates and everything, you know. I mean. I'm sorry. I mean, he was giving me the attention that I needed. Well, let's meet him. Here's Bruce. Man, you're a pathetic loser. You're pathetic, man. That's it. I, man, I just, I don't want no relationship, man. I just, you just with her. You oh, just you don't want a relationship with her? No. You don't want a relationship with me? What are you thinking? Yeah, no. Really? I, don't, I, don't, I wasn't in it for really. Real shit. I was in it just. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's not what you said two weeks ago. <sighs> That's what I'm saying now. That's not now. what you said two weeks ago. That's what I'm saying now. <laughs> That's what I'm saying now. That's not what you said two weeks ago. It's just, man. I was just in it for fun. Well, you, you didn't get enough in jail? <laughs> enough in jail. <laughs> why, why would you ruin my family if you didn't feel for me? You hit me up on Facebook. <laughs> you sweet talked me. You hit me up. You sweet talked me. You was married. You asked me out for drinks. You was the one supposed to be faithful, not me. So? Not you me. knew I was married. You knew I was married. 
why did you why did you look him up on Facebook and pursue it? Because we used to have a relationship together. And you were I wanted to be friends and I needed someone to talk to. I was lonely. Okay. But were you thinking at the time that it may be more than just a friend to talk to? Not really. Maybe a little bit. But you felt a little bit vulnerable and then you figured here's someone. That's all it was, Jerry. You're just a used up Dill House. Why you're standing right. over there. <laughs> okay. What do you want to say to him? I'm sorry. Oh, well. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm You know, I'm, if you guys can work it out, great, okay? I have no interest in this and in trying to make this not work. But if he had come out and said, I really would like to be with you, it was great, I felt the old feelings again, it seemed to just us looking at it that you were ready to go there. So, the question that he would want to know, I assume, is, are you just going back to him now because you were rejected by him, or are you going back to him because in thinking it over, he's really like to do that? I was, I was gonna cut him off. I was gonna cut him off. I was gonna quit talking to him. It, it just happened one time. That was it, one time. Are you gonna take me back, babe? And what, what do I need to do to make you more happy? Oh. Spend more time with me. Help me do that. I'll help you do that, I promise. I love you. Thank I do. You. Thanks for watching. Now please approach the bench. The way I look at it, you have two options here. Option A, watch more Judge Jerry. Option B, watch more Jerry Springer. The choice is yours. Now get out of my courtroom. You have more clips to watch. And don't forget to subscribe.